Hey everybody, in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the chat with PDF ChatGPT plugin to chat with everything from entire PDF books to Google Drive documents just by providing a link. All right, so before I would show you how to use this chat with PDF ChatGPT plugin, let me quickly share that I have a full tutorial on this ChatGPT plugin where I also talk about some of the best use cases you can use this plugin with. And I also share some of the best prompts you can use this chat with PDF plugin with. So if you want to learn more about this plugin, make sure to check out this article in the description below. And you can also get access to a complete database of all currently available ChatGPT plugins that can be installed from the ChatGPT plugin store. You can search this plugin database by category, plugin name, description, and get quick access to ChatGPT plugin video tutorials, the best use cases and prompts for all available ChatGPT plugins. The database can be downloaded for free, but you can also support the maintenance and the frequent updates of the database with a small donation. Any support is appreciated. You can get access to this database by using the link in the description below. Right, but now let's see how to use this chat with PDF ChatGPT plugin. So before you would be able to use the plugin, if you haven't used plugin before, you have to go through a process to be able to use this plugin. So first, of course, you have to be a plus subscriber currently. So if you want to get access to plugins, you have to upgrade to a ChatGPT Plus subscription. Then you also have to enable plugins in your ChatGPT account. Then you have to click on new chat and select GPT-4 from the model selector. Then click on this down arrow and here you will see all the plugins that are installed in your ChatGPT account. So as you can see for me, this chat with PDF plugin is already installed. If it is not for you, you have to click on plugin store and install the plugin. Once the plugin is installed, last but not least, you have to enable the plugin. So you can enable three plugins at the same time. So keep this in mind and you can enable any plugin by clicking the checkbox next to the name of the plugin. But now let's see an example because now the plugin is enabled. So we're going to be able to use the plugin. So as an example, I'm going to use this Bitcoin white paper, a peer to peer electronic cash system. This is a very technical paper on how Bitcoin and the blockchain works and we're gonna be able to feed this PDF to the chat with PDF plugin. All we have to get is the URL of this PDF document. So copy the URL of the document like so. Then go back to ChatGPT and add the URL. And next to the URL, all you have to do is add what you want to do with this PDF document. So you don't have to even add to upload this PDF document to ChatGPT. Then besides the URL, I'm gonna only add the prompt, summarize this. I'm not gonna tell ChatGPT what this document is all about or nothing fancy in this prompt, as you can see here. So all we have to do is click on send message and ChatGPT is clever enough to recognize that it has to use the chat with PDF plugin. As you can see here, you can click on this drawn arrow to see it has activated the plugin. As you can see, it has translated or very simple prompt to a more nuanced prompt to summarize this document. And this is what it has done. So as you can see, it has fetched the complete document and now it's giving us a summary of this document. So the document is original by Bitcoin white paper by Satoshi Nakamoto. Here is a summary, introduction and abstract. The paper proposes a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system called Bitcoin, which allows online payment to be sent directly from one party to another. It also talks about proof of work, network, privacy, simplified payment verification, and so on and so forth. So as you can see, you can use this chat with PDF plugin to upload a PDF document to ChatGPT and have a conversation with that PDF document. If you want to learn more about this ChatGPT plugin, make sure to check out the article I have mentioned. And I also have other tutorials on my YouTube channel on how to upload PDF documents to ChatGPT. This is not the only solution. So you can also use third-party apps to upload PDF documents to a ChatGPT like program. You can also upload PDF to Google Bard. So even if you don't have access to plugins, you can upload PDFs to ChatGPT. If you are a plugin user and you want to learn more about other ChatGPT plugins, I have a ton of other tutorials on my YouTube channel and more are coming up. So make sure to check them out. And also, if you want to get access to the complete ChatGPT plugin database that includes categories, searchable descriptions, and more, you can also find the link to that in the video description below.